Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mr. Left Cat Crew today, doing the track meet. It'll be Mahar jumping here first. And it will be a foul for that jump. And here comes first frontier jumper. And that'll be a foul. And here comes another frontier jumper. That'll be another foul. Looks like it's going to be Maya for uh, Frontier jumping. That'll be another foul. Can be Ashley for Frontier jumping. Here she goes. And yeah, that'll be a foul. Comes a Mahar jumper. Good jump there. Seven feet five inches. Another jumper. Nice jump there. That was 12 feet and one and a half inch. Comes another jumper for Frontier. Good jump. Twelve feet, four and a quarter inch for that jump. And it's Brooke Davis here, jumping for Frontier.
And there will be Ava here for Mahar. Jump. I think it was 12 feet there, nine and a quarter. I think it's Navea here, jumping for Mahar. And I'll be a foul. Another Mahar jumper here. be another foul. <laughs> Comes on the frontier jumpers. I think it was 12 feet 10 inches there. And that'll be a foul for Maher there. It's Zoe here. It's going to be a foul there. Nice jump there. Ten foot and three inches. The frontier jumper here. I'll be a foul. Jumping here is uh, Maya Four Frontier. Ten foot, two and a quarter. Ten foot, two and a quarter there for Maya. It'll be Ashley here jumping for Frontier. Jump. Jumping here is Taylor for Mahar. Not sure what the jump was.
Good jump there. I think it was seven foot two and a half. Mary here for Frontier. Comes the jump. And it'll be a foul there. And we Brooke Davis here for Frontier. Jumping. Jump there by Brooke. Twelve foot seven. Twelve foot seven inches. Now we have Ao here from Ahar. Seven foot ten inches. Nevea here for Mar. comes another Mahar jumper. And it'll be a foul. Be Nicole here for Frontier. Good jump. Thirteen feet and eight and a half. Good jump there by Nicole. Comes another Mahar jumper. Comes the jumper from my arm. There'll be another foul there. Ainsley here for Frontier. Another foul. Frontier.
comes another frontier jumper. Be another foul. Maybe Ashley here for frontier jumping. Nice jump. Be another foul though. Another jumper for Frontier here. Good jump. for Frontier. here for Frontier. Good foul there. We'll be Ava here for Maher. Jump. Eleven foot ten was her best. Here comes another Mahar jumper. Jump. Nicole here for Frontier. Good jump by Nicole there. Fourteen feet, two and a half inches. Oh, and 
Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and North Star Care crew today. Welcome to track now it's time for the boys on jump. Come to Frontier Jumper. Ten foot seven inches and three quarters. Just jump there. Here's Evan for Frontier. Jump there by Evan Mario. Romeo. It'll be 11 feet for him. It'll be Aiden Drake for Maha here. Quarters of the jump there. Yeah, um, Jackson, Jackson, Jackson screens here for front two. Steven Otto here for Frontier. Good jump there by Steven. Be Ronnie Stone from our here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
16 feet, two and a half there from each. And there'll be Fernando here for Frontier. Feet, she said. for Frontier. I think from uh, Maher's in first place with uh, Dominic Whitman. Good, good jump there by Aaron Dasmi. 11 feet, one and a quarter. 11 feet, one and a quarter. Evan Mayo for Frontier here. Good jump. from my home. Jackson's Jackson screen too for Frontier. Just over. Oh, my God. 
I was gonna face plant. Down here for Mahan. Jumping. Good jump there. Anyways, 15 feet in the quarter she's in. And it'll be Jack Storm jumping for the frontier. Jack Storm. Destiny. Sixteen feet, seven and a quarter. Sixteen feet and a quarter. Be Mitchell. So you're good to go again. Mitchell, Mitchell, uh, Kraska. Here for more. Which is PR for him. It was 15 feet, 8 and 40. 
18 feet at three. Be a third and final jump here. Good jump by Aaron Duggan. Experience here for Frontier. Good jump by Jackson. Another Maha jumper. Jump by Liam. Liam did Dante. That'll be Steven Otto. Jack Storm.
Jay Crasco here. Mahar. Yeah, Mahar. Yeah, Mahar. Yeah, Mahar. Nevea on the ground. Nevea is on deck. Lucy is on hold, please. Watch yourself, Pax. She's gonna go come this way, pal. Stay next to me. Lucy and Madeline. Lucy, Madeline, and Maya. Madeline, Maya, and Claire. That's good. Maya, Claire, and Abigail. Woo! 
girl. Claire, Abigail, and Nora. Abigail, Nora, and Lucy. Step over that car. Huh? Nora and Lucy. Lucy and Nora. <laughs> Final attempts at this height, Nora and Lucy. Lucy. Bars at four feet. Nevea. Madeline. And Maya. <laughs> Madeline, Maya, and Claire. Maya, Claire, and Abigail. Claire, Abigail, and Madeline. Abigail, and Madeline. <laughs> Madeline. Ooh. I'm always Maddie. <laughs> Nevea, Maya, Claire, and Hannah is going to join the party of this height. <laughs> Nevea, you're up. Maya, Claire, and Abigail. I'm not here, though, by the way. I can't. Yeah. Claire, Abigail, and Hannah. Good job. Abigail, Hannah, and Nevea. <laughs> Hannah and Nevea. That's good. Oh, I didn't want to. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to 4 4. Cooking with oil. Baz at 4 4. Maya, Claire, and Abigail.
Good. Clear, Abigail and Hannah. Abigail, Hannah, and Nevaeh. <laughs> Nevaeh and Claire. Is it four six? Maya, Abigail, Hannah, and Nevea is fourth. You're right. Anna, Nevaeh, and Maya. Nevaeh, Maya, and Abigail. She had it. <laughs> Abigail. 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 <laughs> Nevaeh, Maya, and Abigail, who's very excited at this height. Aren't you? Maya, Abigail, Hannah. Clear this, you win the whole thing, you know. Just clear this so I can get moving on here, right? All right, Maya, Abigail, and Hannah each get one more attempt at this height before we lower the bar. We got a three way tie for first. Maya. 
All right, Abigail. Abigail, the only one left is you. You want to leave for the day? Yeah. We're done. Okay, girls are done. You get first. We get a tie for second between Maya and Hannah. All right, gentlemen. We're gonna raise about a four ten. No, we're at, we're at four six now, right? We got four inches. Ah! All right, put it up. Let's go. Aiden's up. Dom's on deck. Dominic is up. Going to five feet, boys. Going to 5 2, guys. Aiden. Dom. We're 5 2. Dominic. Going to five four, boys. <laughs> Dominic, we're five four now, right? Yeah. Yep. Going to five six, gents. Dominic. Aiden. Dominic. Dominic. <laughs> Ooh. Last attempt at five six for Aiden and Dominic. There you go. Dominic. That's good. All right, go to 5-8, guys. Ball by Aiden and Dominic. Yeah. Eric, you're up. Yeah. 
Eyni Dominic. Dominic. Also, so, yeah. each get three attempts at, the, at each height. Yep. Okay. okay. So these both these guys went out. Since he's already cleared that, he'd be the first place winner. Okay, you so be, zero is good. Zero is good. X is bad. X is bad. Okay. X is a miss. Zero is a make. So he's, so he didn't do any? He any, passed all the way to here. He passed. And so he can just do that? He can do that. He can pass into what height he wants to come in at. Oh, okay. He has, okay. He has his choice. Okay. Aiden, you're up. If these two both go out at this height, they split second, third place. He's automatic winner because he has no misses at the previous height. Mm -hmm. These guys have two misses at the previous height apiece, so they would tie. Mm -hmm. Well, like... Oof. So what if these guys went on to do, you know, something crazy up here? Well, it all depends. Then you go back to the height they all made. Right, right, right. right. But we, have, we don't have that yet. Yeah, yeah. So what's the Dominic! What's like the state record or whatever? Oh. It's really good. 610. Oh, he made it. So now he goes to C goes to 510. He's going more temp at 58. So right now he's in second place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aiden, you're up. If they both these two guys both on at 510, he would win because he's almost to your advantage. No, because it goes by total misses. It goes misses at the height you both last cleared. There's no advantage of passing. Because you can still gotta clear a height. He's only passing because he wasted his time jumping way to hell down here because he's that good. This is big for this kid. Got it. Go to 510, boys. Eric, Aiden to Dominic. I'm making pretty much do anything I'm trying to get over this bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Well, he, he, can't, he can only jump off with one foot. Okay. Can't jump off with two feet. Okay. He missed. So you can touch it, you just can't make it fall down. Correct. Yeah, if it wiggles and stays on, that's a good jump. Good. Aiden and Dominic. And they can start from where I went. So, so if all three of these guys miss at this height, he wins because the previous height cleared. He had one miss, one no misses. He had one miss, he had two. It would be first, second, third. See how we get two misses to his one? Mm -hmm. So he had no misses here. Mm -hmm. So he'd be first place, second place, third place. If they all miss at 5'10. So he had no misses, but he didn't have a trial either. He you? did. Zero. He made it. Right. At 5'8. Right, okay. I, okay. See, I XO, saying. XXO. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. So he'd be, he'd be the winner. So you don't have to take three trials. You just. No. Yeah. Once you make it, you make it. Once you make it, you make it. Yep. Dominic and Eric. And once, you, once you make it, you make it. Yeah. Any certain time between. They have a minute, but the kids, the high school, I don't bother putting a clock on because they don't take the full minute. College, a whole different story. These kids, like, they take like 10 seconds. Yeah. They don't know any better. As far as any certain amount of time they have to have between jumps to like rest up or whatever. Well, well you could. When you get down to like two. Yeah, when three, you two guys, you give them three minutes, but. Three minutes? Yeah. A place like this. Three minutes apart from their jump? Yeah. Okay. Eric, when you're ready, make your time. Yeah. He made it in a second, so he's over. Aiden! So you go by twos. You go by twos. And then if he's the only... How do you know where to start? 410. Do you always start at 410? These guys always start at 410. The girls always start at 310. Okay. Championship meets, for example, we start at 5'8". You know, we get to Western Mass that's and to the States. Thing. That's just what they settle at because you get the better the better they, jumpers there. They all say, oh no, we don't need 410. We need... Yeah, they all want to come in at 5 feet, come in at 5 feet. Yeah, okay. 410, 310. I'll write that one down. Well, it all depends. Each each league, each place may be different. So I wouldn't bother writing it down. Oh, like the field decides. Different? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you could just pass. I thought you kind of had. No. Nope. Dominic! See, these guys don't know enough to milk the clock to, to drag it out to get more rest. Mm -hmm. 
And the other, the other thing is these guys wasted their time because they, they had four attempts. So these guys have jumped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's only jumped three times. He's fresh. No, no. One more attempt at that height. Each one of them. They only had two misses apiece. And you got Aiden and Dom. Eric, if they both go out, what's your pleasure? Huh? If they both miss here, what's your pleasure? Uh, you probably go to, just go six. Just a six? Okay. He's out. He's out at 5'8". Because he got three, three misses. Yeah, he had three misses in a row. Yep. So he could, say, feasibly, he could pass. He could go miss, miss, pass his last he jumped. And then, then one miss here. If he had three consecutive misses, he'd be out. So it, does, it could be three misses over two heights. Three consecutive misses. Because sometimes you'll do that. They'll pass in the next height. Dominic! Okay, okay. That's, a, that's a nuance. Yes, yeah, a nuance. You won't see that much in high school. That's more of a college thing you'll see that. Okay. But in high school, you won't see that. He's out. We're gonna go to six feet, guys. Eric, you're up. Ooh, we had it. We had that one too. Almost, you're almost. So for the women, it was kind of interesting because the women we had, these three had all tied at 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Then all, and she had two misses from the previous height. Yep. So these guys were in first place, so to speak, right? Because they had all, yep. then they went miss, 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 miss. If she had cleared that, she would have won the whole thing. She, she would only have been out of miss. Mm -hmm. Second time around, Abigail at 4-6, because you give them another attempt at the height, they all missed that. Oh, for first really? place. So they all missed it 4-6 for first place. And they're all tied in the competition. You give them another jump at that height, and she cleared it. That's how you break the tie. Another, if they all had missed it. jump at the next height. At that height. No, the height they all missed that. Yeah, the height they all missed. Oh, he's out. 5-10. So, so it's sort of like a sudden death. Or yeah, exactly. So they, exactly. Basically, they're getting four, four jumps at that height. Noah Rumreel, throwing for Mahar. Frontiers coach Flynn marking it. Forty one feet even for his first throw. Michael LaPlante for Mahar. His throw doesn't stick in the ground. Forty nine feet and three inches. from Colby Chiasson. Thirty nine feet nine inches. Here's the first throw from Frontier. That'll be from Adrian Pasmandi. Longest throw today so far, 89 feet, 3 inches. Noah McMillan, the solid throw there. It 
64 feet and 11 inches. And here's Michael LaPlante again for his second throw. Looks like it'll get a little more distance this time around. He got 41 feet last time. And he's four feet longer, 45 feet for Michael LaPlante. Colby chasing his second throw. Also longer than his first. Seventy-three feet seven inches. Wow. It's Jeffrey LaPlant. Michael LaPlant's brother, I'd assume. Some nice air time there. Sixty-six feet two inches. And here's Adrian Pazmandi for his second throw. Doesn't look like it's gonna stick. But still some nice air time there. Ninety-three feet seven inches. Chris Mitchell for Frontier. Doesn't get his steps right, it looks like. He'll go back to start. He throws now as the train passes behind us. Nice stick in the ground there. Sixty six feet two inches. Hunter Russell up now for Frontier. Here's the throw. To the right. And out comes Coach Flynn to mark it. Seventy nine feet four inches. Michael LaPlante now, this is his third throw. Looks about the same as the last two. Xander Roberts for Mahar. Good throw there to the right side. Roberts, Maher's farthest thrower when it comes to javelin. He's got a PR of 120 feet even. Right, 91 feet, five inches. 91 feet, five inches for Roberts. Here's a throw from Mahar. Strong throw. I think the farthest that they've had. I think that was from Noah Rich. One hundred sixteen feet and eight inches. Has Mandy with his third throw. High, but not quite as long as he might have wanted it to be. Eddie Michkowski up for Frontier. One of their top throwers. I think that's just about as far as Paz Mandy just threw it. Maybe a little bit farther. 
Mishkowski has a PR of 122 feet. And he just threw 102 feet. Aiden Dredge to throw now. Frontier's top javelin thrower. And that's why. Powerful landing there too. I'll take Coach Flynn a minute to get out to that one. A hundred thirty nine feet and two inches. McMillan now for the Red Hawks. Almost taking his coach out. Colby chasing for Mahar. Seventy three feet and ten inches for chasing. Jeffrey, Jeffrey LaPlante. Seventy three feet nine inches for LaPlante. Chris Mitchell coming in with 67 feet and 9 inches. Hunter Russell's throw. Nice arc there. Seventy-nine feet and six inches. Jaden Dicato for Mahar. Let's throw far to the right. It's going to be a foul. Here's Xander Roberts. Beautiful throw there. Sure. 
Doesn't look like it'll be close to his record though. About 12 feet short, 108 feet and nine inches. Eddie Michkowski. Strong throw to the right side of the arc. One hundred seven feet and nine inches. Now here's Aiden Dredge. Just throw on the second round. Now get some great distance on that one. Hundred thirty three feet two inches. Still, here's Michael LaPlante. Forty two feet eight inches. Noah Rich. Forty seven feet and ten inches for Rich. Noah McMillan. Sixty four feet seven inches, very close to his record of sixty five one. Colby Chasen, final throw. He won't stick it. But he gets a PR, 77 feet, 5 inches. Now here's Jeffrey, Jeffrey LaPlan. Can't say his first name right for some reason. Seventy eight feet nine inches. Chris Mitchell's final throw. Seventy nine feet nine inches. That's a PR for Mitchell. Russell up to throw now. His best so far is a 79.6. Won't get his steps right. Has to backtrack. Here's his throw. It's close to a foul. And it will be a foul. Jaden Decato, his final throw. He fouled last time. Looks like it stayed fair for him.
75 feet, 3 inches. Xander Roberts up for Mahar, his final throw. His best so far is a 116-8. Beautiful throw there. One seventeen feet four inches. Nice way to round it out for Roberts. Kowski with his final throw. Didn't seem too happy with it. One hundred and two feet. Here's Aiden Dredge for his final throw. His best so far is one hundred thirty two feet and two inches. Didn't feel right to him. Let's start back. already walking away from this meet with a PR five feet longer than his last and oh look at that throw oh boy one hundred forty four feet Wow. That'll close out the boys' javelin. We'll be back in a few moments with girls' javelin. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Delana Fawcett for Mahar, her first throw. 31 feet, 6 inches. Elliot Graves on her first throw. Forty-four feet one inch. Via Woods. Thirty two feet and one inch. Marilyn Moore Her throw is going to be marked at 38 feet 7 inches Brianna Decato Her throw is going to be high Maybe not as far as she wanted it to be. 46 feet 4 inches. Holly Novak thrown for 48 feet. Three inches. Mia Warden for the Red Hawks. Throws forty five seven.
Elsa Brown. Fifty eight feet two inches for Mahar. Nice throw there from her. Shea Woods throws for fifty nine four. Mon Mini. Sixty seven seven for Mont Mini. Kill myself. <laughs> Mickey McCarthy. We're getting in the top throws of Frontier here. Sixty one feet even for McCarthy. Nice throw from Sydney Tor. She's got a record of sixty eight one. Now here's Jocelyn Antes. Very nice throw there. Sixty nine four from Antes. Now Lily Novak. Great throw there and a beautiful stick in the ground. Seventy four five. Short. Annika Pura's throw, forty six feet. Thirty-seven five for Fawcett. Graves. Her throw is going to be marked at forty-three eleven. Dakota's throw. Thirty five seven for Dicato. This is more second throw. Thirty four one for more. Now here's Dakota. Bit of a mix up before. That was Woods who had thrown previously, not Dakota. 55 9 for Dakota. Holly Novak with their second throw. Sixty three nine for Novak. And here's Warden's throw. Thirty 
49-2 for Warden. Brown's throw. Nice arc on it. Forty nine six for Brown. Woods throws for sixty four three. And here's Montmany's throw. Sixty six seven. Nice throw from McCarthy for her second. And now here's Tor. Fifty seven eight for Tor. Antes now. Nice throw, is it going to be fair though? No, it's going to be foul. And here's Novak for her second. Great throw there. Eighty-two and a half feet. That's a new record for Novak. Pura's final throw. Thirty-five-two for Pura. Here's Fawcett's throw. Thirty-five two for Fawcett. And here's Graves' final throw. Forty feet eleven inches from Graves to round it out. Woods throw. Forty two seven for Woods. Here's the throw from Moore. Moore's throw going to be marked at 34 2. Here's Zicato's final throw. Thirty-five nine was her best, if I remember right.
Holly Novak for her last throw. Forty-seven three for Novak. Warden's last throw. Forty-nine eleven for Warden. Here's Elsa Brown's last. Nice stick there. Fifty-two-three for Brown. When I say things. And here's Wood's last throw for Mahar. Some power behind that one. Fifty-eight feet three inches. There's Montmini's last throw. Now here's McCarthy's final throw. <laughs> nice throw there. It will stay fair. Now here's Tor for her final throw. 61 to 8 was her best, if I remember right. Sixty-nine feet eleven inches, that's a new PR for her. And T steps up for her last throw. Sixty-nine four is her best. A wonky throw there. 65 feet, 6 inches. Lily Novak, already with the PR in this meet. 82 6. And here's her final throw. All right, and that's all for girls' jab. We'll be back in a few moments with the running events of the meet. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Good. Woods up. Graves on deck. Novak waiting. Mark, measure, 29 feet, 8 inches, Graves up, Novak on deck, Mark, measure, 39 feet, 4 inches, Novak up, Sylvie on deck, Fawcett waiting.
All right. Is that out? That was out of the line. Foul. Sylvie up. Fawcett on deck. Julia in the waiting. Mark. Measure. 38 feet, 5 inches. Uh, Fossa up. Julia on deck. Woods and waiting. Mark. Measure. 47 feet, 2 inches. Julia up. Woods on deck, Graves waiting. I'll tell you after we see the video. Mark, measure. 47 feet, six inches. Woods up, Graves on deck, Novak waiting. Mark. Measure. 30 feet, 3 inches. Graves up, Novak on deck, Sylvie waiting. Mark. Measure, 44 feet, 5 inches. Novak up, Sylvie on deck, Fawcett waiting. Mark, measure, 44 feet, 7 inches. Sylvie up, Fawcett on deck, Julia waiting. Legs, legs. Mark, measure. 42 feet, 6 inches. Pass it up. Bokowitz on deck. Woods waiting. Mark, measure. 55 feet, 1 inch. Walkowitz up, Woods on deck, Graves waiting. Mark, measure, 54 feet, 7 inches. Third throws, Woods up, Graves on deck, Holly Novak waiting. Mark, measure, 31 feet, 10, 10 inches. That's your best. Graves up. Holly Novak on deck. Sylvie, waiting. Mark, measure, 36 feet, 2 inches, 44.5 was your best. Holly Novak up, Sylvie on deck, Fawcett waiting. Foul. And Sylvie up, pass it on deck, Walkowitz waiting. Mark, measure. 
47 feet, 3 inches. 42.6 was your best. Toss it up. Walkowitz on deck. Mark. Measure. 50, 52 feet, 9 inches. 55.1 was your best. Walker, what's up? Mark. Measure. 55 feet, 1 inch. That's your best. All right, so we're gonna swap. If you guys are, whoever's throwing shot, go over to shot. Whoever's throwing disc, go over to disc. All right, we're gonna get this thing started. We got more up. Dakato on deck, Grover waiting. Mark. 47 feet, nine inches. Dicotta up, Grover on deck, McCarthy waiting. That'll make you throw farther. It's good luck. Mark, measure, 48 feet, 8 inches. Grover up, McCarthy on deck, Wells Robinson waiting. Mark. Measure, 53 feet, 7 inches. McCarthy up, Wells Robinson on deck, Novak waiting. Mark, measure, 71 feet, 8 inches. Wells Robinson up, Novak on deck, Moore waiting. Mark, measure, 36.11. Novak up, more on deck. Taikato waiting. Mark, measure, 70 feet even, more up. Takata on deck, Kato on deck, Grover in the hole. Mark, measure, 54 feet, 8 inches. Takato up, Grover on deck, McCarthy waiting. Foul sector. Grover up, McCarthy on deck, Wells Robinson waiting. Foul, McCarthy up, Wells Robinson on deck, Novak waiting. Mark, measure, 51-11, Wells Robinson up, Novak on deck, Moore waiting. Mark, measure, 71 feet, 10 inches. Novak up, more on deck, Takato waiting, Mark, 
76 feet, 9 inches. More up. Dakato waiting uh, on deck. Grover waiting. Throw. Mark, measure, 49 feet, 8 inches. Takato up, Grover on deck, McCarthy in the hole. Mark. Measure, 48 feet even, 48, 8 was your best. Grover up, McCarthy on deck, Wells Robinson waiting. Powell, McCarthy up, Wells Robinson on deck, Willie Novak waiting. Mark, measure, 74 feet, 4 inches. That's your best. Wells Robinson up. Novak on deck. Mark, measure. 72 feet, 7 inches. That's your best. Yeah. Novak up. Woo. Mark. Measure. 74 feet, 11. 76, 9 was your best. First call, boys discus. We've got, all right, Malachi up. Jaden on deck. Xander waiting. Mark. Foul. Jaden up. Xander on deck. Julian in the hole. Mark, measure, 77 feet, 3 inches, 77 feet, 3 inches, Xander up, Julian on deck, Alex in the hole, Sector, Sector foul. Great in practice. Julian up. Alex on deck. Malachi in the, waiting. Mark. Measure. 100 feet, 10 inches. Alex up. Malachi on deck. Xander waiting. Mark. Measure. 109 feet, 1 inch. Malachi up. Jaden on deck. Xander waiting. Mark. No, no, no. <laughs> Foul. Jaden up. Xander on deck. Julian waiting. Mark. Oh, Sector. Sector. Foul. Xander up. Julian on deck. Alex waiting. Mark, measure, 77 feet, 4 inches, Julian up, Alex on deck, 
Malachi waiting. Mark, measure, 84 feet, 10 inches. Alex up, Malachi on deck, Jaden waiting. Mark, measure. 112 feet, 8 inches. All right, third and final throw. By now you should know that you walk out the back of the circle when you get done. Malachi up. Jaden on deck. Xander waiting. Mark, measure. 40 feet, 11 inches. That's your best. Jaden up. Sander on deck. Julian waiting. Mark. Measure. 80 feet, 11 inches. That's your best. Xander up. Julian on deck. Alex in the hole. Hey, thanks so much. That was going to be a big mess. Mark, 80 feet even. That's your best. Julian up. Alex on deck. Relax. You're too tense on that last throw. It's chill. Mark. Measure, 91 feet even. 100 feet, 10 inches was your best. Alex up. Mark, foul. Good to run. Let's do this. So I got Isaiah up, Mateo on deck, and Javian waiting. Oh, there yeah, we go. Sorry, go ahead. Mark, measure 50 feet even. Mateo up, Javian on deck, Isaiah waiting. Mark, measure, 68 feet, seven inches. Javian up, Isaiah on deck, Mateo in the waiting. Mark, measure. Oh, sector. Sector, sorry. Isaiah up. Mateo on deck. Javian waiting. Mark, measure. 50 feet, 3 inches. Mateo up. Javian on deck. Isaiah waiting. Mark, measure. 63 feet, two inches. Javian up. Isaiah on deck, Mateo waiting. Foul. Isaiah up. Mateo on deck. Javian waiting. 
Mark. Measure. 53 feet, 3 inches. First one, by about 5 feet. Mateo up, JVN on deck. Mark. Measure. 80 feet, 1 inch is third place right now. JV and up. At 68.7 on your first was your best. Okay. Mark. Measure. Uh, yeah, just if you can give me, let's. This is the last That concludes Boys Discus. Four and a 
Twenty feet, one inch.
I really can't film it, so I'm just doing it. Or if you, if you miss out on their...
and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Amalia Smith, Kevin Murphy, Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, Tyler Wolkowitz, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We weren't quite in time to announce the first seat, which was the boys 100 meter hurdles, but it looks like we'll be able to catch the girls 100 meter hurdles, unless I'm wrong about that. We'll have to see. Well, they do have the hurdles still out, so looks like it. Yep, it'll be the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Four runners from Frontier, none from Mahar. Hannah Davis, Caroline Crocker, Elsa Brown, and Anna Petrin. Lanes three, four, five, and six, respectfully. Caroline Crocker has the fastest time out of the four of them with 15.6 seconds. Davis has 17.9, Petrin 20 seconds, and Brown with 22 seconds. Gun is up. And there they go. They're over the first hurdle. Danny Brown. And as expected, there's Caroline Crocker coming in first. Anna Davis. Anna Petrin. And then Elsa Brown. Caroline Crocker about 0.2 seconds slower than her record, 15.85, I believe, is what they're saying. Great run for all four of them, though. Now here's the first heat of the boys' 100-meter dash. Gun is up, and they're off. We've got runners from both schools in this heat. Looks like Mahar is going to come out on top. With Frontier's top runner, going to be Fernando Saravia. And now we're getting ready for the second heat. Only two Mahar runners against six Frontier runners in the eight lanes. The Mahar runners are going to be in lanes two and four. They're Josiah Cardona and Caden Vorse. Almost identical times. Cardona, or excuse me, Vorse, faster by 0.2 seconds. The gun is up at the end of the track. There they go, they're down in the blocks. Like out of the block? Falling? Like right Guns there. up. Oh, what? Did you just get lapped? And they're off. Come on, Caden! Looks like Mahar's pulling ahead again. It's gonna be a close finish. Man, we're good at sprinting. Finish pretty close to each other, almost identical times it looks like. Force and Cardona and Carter Robinson coming in closest to them. And now we're here with the third and final heat of the boys 100 meter. All frontier runners. Fastest time out of the seven is Brendan Dawson in lane four with 14.7 seconds. Yeah. 
There's the gun and they're off. Dawson finishes with a 15.3. And now we have the first heat of the girls' 100 meter dash. Even runners from both schools. Gun is up. And they're off. Sophia Leone with the fastest time of this year, 13.3 seconds. She would be if she was in it. That's my fault. That was Eve Dugan who finished first out of the runners. back now. Apologize for some technical difficulties. This is the boys one mile in front after the first lap around the track is Evan Headland, followed by Charlie Dennis and Jeffrey LaPlante close behind him. Noah Rumrill Michael LaPlante and Aiden Drake from Mahar. And to round him out, it's Lucas Bryan from Mahar. Headland taking a nice lead in front of Dennis. About 100 meters or so, it looks like. Headland with an impressive track record when it comes to running of all kinds. Four fifty four point three is his record for the mile. And here's Dennis again, he's gonna round the finish. He's gained some decent ground on Jeffrey to the plant. And those are our top three who have 
separate almost completely from the rest of the pack. Number four right now, Noah Rumrill, a decent way ahead from a large group we have coming up. About three or four clumped together. Three from Mahar and one from Frontier, Adam Paul. Paul with a 631.5 as his record for the mile. And this is Headland's third lap around as he's going to pass Lucas Bryant, who's at the back of the pack. Headland enter, enters, excuse me, Headland enters his final lap around the track now. Headland now about 200 meters ahead of Dennis. And Dennis has about 50 meters or so on the plant. This is the only heat of the one mile. And then the one guy's coming up right on their rear. So and now in, Noah Rumrill coming around the finish to start his third lap. And as we still have runners coming around to start their final lap, Henland is finishing. Lapping several of the runners. Very impressive run from Headland. And now here's Dennis coming along the home stretch. Kicking in the last 50 meters or so as the plant is still about 100 meters behind him now. Even then he was gaining ground. The runners have almost completely spaced out at this point. Jeffrey, Jeffrey the plant coming around to finish and he'll barely lap Lucas Bryant as he finishes. Romrell finishes now. Dennis just about a second above his current PR. very similar. He's got a 4.55. Second slower than his current record. And it looks like Brian is still up there. He is just coming around the bend now to the last 100 meters. Guns up and they're off. This is the girls one mile. 
Only one Maha runner in this whole race. And unfortunately, it already looks like she's behind in the pack. Abby Howard taking a strong lead already in the first 200 meters or so. Followed at a short distance by the rest of her team. Abby Howard, of course, with the best time for the one mile for the girls team, 556.50. Here's Howard entering the her first stretch to end her first lap. Thirty meters about in front of everyone. Behind her is Maya Christensen. And then we hit the pack. Behind and out on Frontier by Sydney Torr. And then Shea Woods from Mahar. strengthened her lead in front of the pack. Almost 100 meters between her and Christensen now. starting her third lap. So with a very strong lead in front of the rest of the runners, Christensen remains in second. It's good length between her and Liv Christensen. We have Phoebe Radner, followed closely by Mary Burt, Elliot Graves, Gage Calhoun, and Sydney Torr, who now has about 70 meters or so in front of Woods. about a 200 meters in front of the second place runner now. Second call girls 400, first call girls 400 hurdles. Boys starting to run, warm up for their relay. Let's see Jack Storm in front of us. Maya Christensen starting her final lap now. As we can see further down the track, 
Howard at halfway done with her final. Liv Christensen. And now here's Howard in the final 200. And she'll lap Woods as she closes out her mile run. Nice kick in the final 50 meters or so. And a great run by Howard. Finishing with 5.53. And that looks like that's gonna be a new record for her by three seconds or so. Christensen, last 50. She'll finish with a 641. It's about five seconds slower than her personal record. Sydney Tour, Frontier's last runner in the event. Finishes. Now here's Woods coming around the turn to her last hundred. Boys setting up their blocks in the third and fourth lane. from Frontier and Mahar setting up in lanes three and four. Around the track for the four by 100 meter relay. Should be a nice finish, nice close finish. Frontier's, Frontier's uh, relay team record is 47.1 seconds and Mahar's is 48.7. See how they can hold up against each other. So for those who don't know or are confused by the phrase four by 100, the runners, there's four runners, each of them run 100 meters around the track or a quarter of the track and hand off the baton to the next runner. Jack Storm starting it off for Frontier's team. There's the gun and they're off. Here's the first handoff. Aiden Dredge it looks like, although I'm looking at it from a distance here. Dredge on a straightaway, he's catching up and he passes the Maha runner. And here's the second handoff. Looks like Frontier's gaining distance, but you can never tell on the turns. Final handoff. And here's the last stretch. 
Frontier in front. Looks like they're going to keep it that way. There's Ben Catchwango finishing it off for Frontier. And they'll take the win. And now we're having the girls 4 by 100. Frontier expected to win by a decent amount for this one. Their record being 440. And Mahar's, or excuse me, no, I'm looking at the 4 by 400. Frontier still has a faster record, 54 even, against Mahar's 59.8. Guns up. And they're off. Hannah Davis to start off for Frontier. They're coming around the first turn, and Hannah Davis catching up quick. They're closing on the handoff now. Handoff's clean for both of them. Not sure who the Frontier runner is. They're all the way on the other side of the track. Either way, they're taking a decent lead in front of Mahar. There's the second handoff. They're coming around the second bend. Frontier's way in front. And now here's the last 100 meters. There's the handoff. Frontier will finish about 25 meters ahead of Mahar. Right now we've got in front of us the runners for the boys 400 meter. This is the first heat. Second heat is only going to include one runner. Even amount of runners from Frontier and Mahar. Lane one, Etienne Patrick. Lane two, Peter Frost from Mahar. From Frontier and lane three, Fernando Saravia. Caden Forrest from Mahar. In lane four, Adrian Pazmandy for Frontier in lane five. And then lane six is Malaki Grummel for Mahar. Guns up. And they're off. 400 meters, that's one time around the track for those of you who don't know. Grummel's in the lead as they hit the straightaway. And Pachurik's gaining ground, it looks like. All the Frontiers runners gaining ground on Grummel. And it looks like they're all going to overtake him at about the same time. That ends the straightaway. They're on to the 300s. Coming around the turn. And it's the three Frontier runners out in front. They're all in stride with each other. Grummel is closest to them. Pachurik, Pazmandi, and Saravia to finish it off for the Red Hawks. And now here's the second eat. Boys 400 meters, just one runner. There he goes. It's Brendan Carey. He's got a PR of 112.6. And as he's, as he hits his first 100 meters, or the second 100 meters rather, excuse me. The girls team is setting up the blocks. Now Carey rounds the last bend. Final 100 meters. And 
he'll come in just two or three seconds slower than his PR. This is the girls' 400 meter. We've only got five runners, it looks like. Guns up, and they're off. Two from Mahar, three from Frontier. Julia Morse, Claire McFarland, and Perla Ordaz are from Frontier. Ohia Dellert and Paisley Severance from Mahar. taken a commanding lead coming into the final 100 but Claire McFarland it looks like right behind her Let's see if she can catch up in this last hundred or so she's really got to push it and it doesn't look like she's going to she gains a little bit of ground but won't be able to close the gap As the last heat of the girls' 400 meter closes out, we're getting ready for the girls' 400 hurdles. from Frontier for this event. Core Plus, Madeline Antes, and Elsa Brown. Runners are down on their blocks. Guns up. And they're off. the first set of hurdles and they all clear it more or less keeping pace with each other Elsa Brown falling behind a little bit as they hit the 300 meter mark. Near it, rather. And 
here they come with the final 100. Madeline Antes gets beaten out by Nicole Plass in the final 15 meters or so. Tight finish to round it out. As the hurdles are set up for the boys 400 meter. Two heats for this one. Two runners from Frontier, Alex Schreiber and Eric Brown, and three from Mahar. One of them's gonna be in the second heat all by himself. Runners from Mahar are Mitchell Kraskow and David Phelps. Looking at the PRs, should be a nice close finish between Kraskow and Brown. Got a .7 second difference. Runners on their blocks. Guns up, and they're off. Runners come around to the first set of hurdles. All cleared. Schreiber has a little bit of space to make up here. You can see Phelps and Brown neck and neck. Brown pulling ahead in the straightaway. Brown maintains his lead. Phelps is falling behind as Kraskow keeps pace with Brown and they hit the final hundred. They're almost neck and neck. Brown just a little bit ahead. Here's the last set of hurdles for them. And now it's just a straightaway. Brown Looks like he might have edged him out there. Very close finish. And Phelps comes in just behind Schreiber. Very exciting first heat. And now we've got the second heat with just one runner. It's Colby Chasen. Chasing all by himself in lane three. Jason coming around to the final hundred now. <clears throat> and here he is at the last set of hurdles. And a nice strong finish for Jason. Looks like uh, we're gonna be doing a couple of heats here. Ooh. All right, I'm actually gonna start this now. Murphy, you can cut this. Cause I've just been talking. All right, three, two, one. All right, welcome back to the Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith here with Alec Eckel, Amalia Smith, Kevin Murphy, Tyler Wolkowitz, 
and Tom Albert. It's the boys 800 meter run and it looks like we're going to be doing a couple different heats for this. Or maybe we won't. Not sure what they're doing but now we've got everyone on the list out on the track. Aiden Valderrama has the best time in this heat, in this event rather, excuse me, with 211.4, followed closely by Amory Maxi, 215.6, both from Frontier. Guns up. And they're off. 800 meters. That's two times around the track. And as expected, we have Aiden Valderrama and Amory Maxi way out in the front already. Maxi running very steadily. His head's barely even bobbing. And now they're all going to hug the shoulder of the track. And Valderrama pulls ahead of Maxi. Very big lead for the first slap around for the two of them. And they'll be battling it out between each other this whole race. In third place right now, third and fourth place, looks like it's Mahar, Jeffrey LaPlante. And here they are starting their second lap. Valderrama in front, followed closely by Maxi. Jeffrey LaPlante. Liam DiDonato. And now we've got a pack led by Noah Rumrill. And a few stragglers coming in behind. Rumrill has lost control of the pack. Looks like Jackson Spearance is in front now. And Valderram has taken a big lead over Maxi, about 50 meters or so, as he hits his final 100. Expecting a big kick from both of them. Valderrama closes in on the finish. Nice run by him and Maxi finishes just as strong. The plant's still about 50 meters behind him. And Tristan Valderrama looking to edge him out at the finish. It looks like he does. Spearance coming in just a couple seconds behind the two of them. That was a did a notto that they edged out. AJ Desmond and Chris Mitchell coming in. Noah Rumrill. Michael LaPlante. And now Aiden Drake. <laughs> Isaiah Whitmore. Mark Brennan. 
to close out the event. It's Lucas Bryant. Now we're going to be moving on to the girls' 800. There's the gun, and they're off. Eight runners in the heat. Led by Abby Howard. Howard about 30 meters ahead of whoever's in second place I can't quite tell right now she's coming around 400 meters her second straight away Una Millet, who's in second. Now I've got a group of three here. Fiona McFarland, Shea Woods. Excuse me, Sophia Woods. Just read that. Now here's Shea Woods at the end of the pack. Abby Howard coming around to the last bend to the home stretch. Already about 100 meters in front of Millette. She'll finish well ahead of everyone else. Let's see if it's fast enough to beat her re personal record. Looks like it will be 237. Nine seconds of her previous PR. Let finishes second in front of Fiona McFarland. Sophia Woods catching up to her. Looks like she might have edged her out at the last second. Antes finishes. Well, we missed the start of the 200, but we're going to be here to catch the finish. Ben Catchwongo looks like he's going to edge him out at the finish, and he does. Great close finish there. Jack Storm coming in second for Frontier. All right, that was the first seat of the boys' uh, 200. So now it's the 
second heat of four, as a matter of fact. It's quite a few of them. Um, got three Maha runners, two Frontier runners, and there they go. They're coming around the turn. And boy, they're all pretty close together. Looks like Mahar's a little bit in front, though. Yeah, Mahar's going to take the win on this one. Don't know if they're going to get second, though. Looks like they will by just a few, maybe even just a foot. You got to love it. All right, and here's the third heat. Just one Mahar runner, it looks like. But he's staying in the middle of it. Looks like he may have, might be pulling ahead, too. Going to be a close finish. The Frontier's going to come out on top by about a foot and a half, it looked like. All right, now we've got the last heat of the boys 200. It's all Frontier runners. They've all got just over 30 second PRs. Guns up. And there they go. Just five runners. I think five runners. In this heat, or maybe it's just three. <laughs> just three runners in this heat. And here they come in the last straightaway. Here's the first heat. First of three. Three Frontier runners, three Mahar runners, and it looks like Frontier is taking the lead in this one. Mahar's got one runner that's trying to keep pace with him. In the fifth lane, but Frontier's going to come away with a 1 2 3 victory in this heat. the gun for the second heat. Just one Mahar runner in this one. It looks like she'll be rounding out the race. Considering we're siblings. <laughs> that's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> Listen, because every time that someone someone's said that, it's because it's been because of that. Okay, you get away from me. I don't want to affiliate. I don't want to affiliate with you anymore. No, no. This is not 
my fault this is gaslighting. I, I think that you need to shut up. No, no. I didn't say anything. Here's the third heat. <laughs> One Mahar runner against three Frontier runners. Frontier is going to take first, second, and third to finish off the 200 meter races. Right, and here's the start of the boys and girls, it looks like. Two mile. That's eight times around the track.
are finishing off the two mile. You can see around the track their teammates are getting ready for the 4x400 relay. Those of you who don't know 4x400, each runner runs around the track once, one full time before handing the baton off to their next teammate. So they're going to be doing the boys relay as well as the girls relay at the same time in different sets of lanes. As it's starting to get dark for us out here. They want to wrap things up before the sun sets. So we've got Fernando to start things off for the boys up front here and for the girls it's Claire McFarland Frontier using blocks to start off the relay Guns up and they're off Farland and Fernando catch up to their Mahar counterparts around the same time, but Fernando speeds ahead of everyone else, taking a big lead against Mahar. McFarland is ahead, but not quite as much as Fernando. He's got about 50 meters on his counterpart. Fifty meters and growing as he hits the straightaway. He's going to be handing it off to Ian Burt. He's almost got a whole hundred meters on his opponent right now as Burt gets the baton and speeds away. Now he's the handoff for the boys' race of Mahar. Just a few seconds afterwards, Nicole Plass is going to get the baton from McFarland. Plass has just under 100 meters of a lead against Mahar. And oh boy, look at Ian Burt. 150 to 200 meters easily ahead of Mahar. It's not even close. And 
Nears Bird in the final 100. Can be handing it off to Ian Petrurek. Handoff's clean. And there he goes. Frontier Boys 4x4 relay record is 350. And here's the handoff to Mahar now. And now Antes gets the baton for Frontier Girls. And as the handoff for the Mahar girls race is happening, Ian Pachurik hits his last hundred. Getting ready to hand it off to Adrian as Mandy. Handoff is clean. And there he goes with the last 400 of the relay for Frontier. Frontier boys have about 200 meters now on Mahar. Handoff a little awkward, but he's off and running. And here's the last handoff for the Frontier girls relay. Anthes to Howard. And Howard's going to take the rest of the 400. And here's Paz Manny to finish off the boys' relay. Lapping the Mahar girls' runner. Finishes the 400. Sealing the win for the Frontier Girls. And here's Sophia Woods finishing off the 4x4 relay. 